name is Jackie, welcome to my channel. This is Jackie Does Keto and welcome to my kitchen. Um, I post keto related content, things like grocery hauls and meal preps, that kind of thing. And today for you, I've got my grocery hauls from Sainsbury's, which I'll show first of all. I have to do a little top up because I forgot a couple of bits as well, which I'll, I'll pop in for you as well. And I'm meal prepping two things, which I'm just finishing off now. And I'll swing you around and show you those. And the two things I'm meal prepping today are going to be just a good old chicken curry, which I love, I love, love, love curry so much. And then I'm making a little side dish of broth bacon and cauliflower cheese, just a very basic, nice, creamy uh, dish. Both of those for me are, I consider to be comfort foods, warming foods, the weather's turned poop, um, and I just feel like I really wanted them. If you're not already, press that subscribe button. Um, I'd love to have you. Uh, everyone here is absolutely lovely. I've got some amazing subscribers and they're all really helpful. Um, I will leave any links that I've got below for you. So if you want at the end of the video, if you want to check those out as well, that'd be awesome. But I'll flip you guys around first of all and show you my grocery haul and then what I've prepped for the week. And this is this week's Sainsbury's delivery. Got quite a lot this week. Um, so £69, I believe. And I'm going to start off with my keto -y stuff. Um, in the keto end. So I bought, we bought some hot dogs. Um, again, we really like these ones. They're a quick, easy dinner. And the some days, sometimes I'll go all out and just do loads of stuff. And sometimes I just want to do something simple. Depends on what I've got going on. And so I did hot dogs for Paul in buns and uh, on their own for me with probably some bacon and some eggs. Um, so that's going to be for dinner tonight, probably. I've got some quite interesting looking stir fry stuff, coriander. Uh, which is cilantro, um, blessed stir fry blend, some chilies, yum, some radishes and some ginger and some more peppers and things because I'm going to be making um, a chicken curry today for the week as my meal prep, um, with, which is coconut milk based. However, I forgot to buy a couple of bits, so I need to pop out and grab those this morning, no big drill. I also grabbed some artichoke hearts, which are really useful. They're quite expensive. They don't really grow here. Um, so, But I do like to get them because the texture is really nice when you're making a bake. I've got two pots of cream, partly because I've got a lot of cheese. Um, and some of it's a bit mature and it's, it's on the edge. It's going zingy. So I want to use up the cheese that I've got. So I'm thinking a cauliflower bake. Um, I've also grabbed a leek to go with it. So I think I'm going to do a cauliflower and leek bake. Nothing fancy, really. Um, just, you know, do reg the regular... Um, I've noticed this one, my bacon is missing, which is really odd. Can you see it? I can't see it. No, I can't see it. I think the bacon's missing. Oh, well, I'll grab some of that while I'm out. Um, also grabbed some two chicks, just egg whites on their own. Um, I just hate the faff of splitting eggs. Also, having all those yolks, um, I have to do something with the yolks. So I bought those because I'm going to be making um, chaffles next week. And I'm going to be using the recipe that Mary Taquito made a few months ago. I'll leave a link below in the comments, in the, in the, in the um, description box, of her really, really good egg white um, chaffle um so that'll be for little breakfast next week because one of the reasons why I'm going to be doing that, apart from I want them, is in my keto crave box. I got this. This is from my cupboard. And I've got no real use to use it. I don't know how to use it without it. Use it. Unless I bake with it and maybe make some sort of almond-based um, sort of cheesecake -y sort of thing. And maybe I'll do that with some of it. But I'm going to use jammy, chaff jammy chaffles next week. Got some chicken for the kittens. Uh, I've got just some regular eggs as well, in case I fancy fried eggs, and I probably will have them with my hot doggies. Um, and I've got some of these Unstoppables. I usually don't get these, but these are half price, so I thought I'd treat our undies to some Unstoppable-ness. Um, and I've also got some more peppers as well, which Paul and I will use at some point over the week. So that is my keto side. So I've got my meal prep already in my mind about what I'm going to be doing. The rest is Paul's and kittens. I'll show you that. If you're not interested, don't look. Um, I've got some of these because they look good. Crisps, garlic bread and a huge pizza. I've got my loaf and obviously his usual Haribo's and mints. Um, some chocolatey bars. These, I never knew if he liked them. I've been with the man eight years and I didn't know. So I grabbed him some of these to have as well. I've got his buns for the hot dogs. Um, and I'll freeze whatever's left over, which we don't eat t tonight, probably. I've got some soup because, um, uh, just because it's getting, it's, the weather's turned unpleasant. And I might want a warm lunch. I really wish I could get tin soup for those keto friendly. I think the best one I've seen is French onion and that's still 15 carbs a tin. Um, and that's it because of the thickeners and stuff they use. So any, any, I'm going to know any good convenient tins of soup recipes. I'm all on it. So let me know. These were free, I believe, because I never ordered them and there's a leaflet in the box. 
So I think they gave them to free. So Paul will eat those, I'm sure. Got some lovely crumpets. And they're, they're toasted butter crumpets for the week. Um, I wish they'd make these so that you could seal them up better, but, you know. Got them that for sandwiches. Um, some spread. Some is pork pie thingy bobs. A couple of puddings. Uh, I might have grabbed him some ice cream as well today, actually, because I didn't get him any ice cream. And then I've got kitten-related items. Now, Mabel, bless her heart, she has been very stressed about a lack of dreamies. We've been rushing them this week because um, we were very low and I didn't wasn't going to the shop. Um, so I just busted them open for her and she's happy now. Bless her heart. And we got a pop. Now, well, I had a comment about... Um, how do you sleep with all this caffeine? Well, I don't drink it all in one go. Um, and and I think personally, I'm not overly sensitive to caffeine, but Paul is. He does affect his sleep if he does have it too late. So we actually have bought this week some decaf Pepsi Max, well, Pepsi, in case he wants to have one in the evening. And also I got some um, lemonade. I asked for diet lemonade. They've given him regular, which is annoying. Um, Cause then I can't have any either. They've substituted this one out which is irritating, but um, because also as well, Paul had some beer this week. He doesn't drink all the time. I rarely drink. I used to be an absolute lush, drink all the time. I was drinking cocktails, again, disco dancing and, uh, you know, throwing shapes. I just don't drink much anymore because I can't be bothered. Uh, too expensive for this Timmy Keller. <laughs> um, so, but Paul has a sort of beer a couple of, t couple of times a month and we've noticed that as he's getting older, he's getting really, really like discomfort from, from me. So I said, well, why don't you try it with... Um, measures that we have we've got vodka that's been here for a couple of years and other things like that so we're going to try them on just if he wants a drink next time to you know to wind off his week you can maybe try that instead or maybe with that just have something a bit shorter less gassy um and that's it i'm going to zip out and grab a couple of bits from a pet store and aldi and see what else i can find and amazon due momentarily as well with a couple of bits i'm going to pop all this away and then i'll show you guys what i'm cooking and I found the bacon, it was tucked behind the pot, so I definitely have got the bacon. So I think I'm going to add some of this into the cauliflower bake. Um, I think it just makes it really, really nice. Um, and that's just for well, eating whenever. And I'm back from my little trip. I went to Sainsbury's, went to the pet store and I went to Boots. Um, I've got some yellow stickers, obviously this isn't for me. I got this for Paul, half price. Uh, a couple of tomatoes for my recipe today I didn't get in the shopping. I got this piece of pork, again it was half price. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with that or how it will be. Got that for Paul, half price, it's handy. And again, some turkey steaks, which are always useful for, you know, stir fries and curries and stuff. Got some packets of batteries for our clock. And Paul's bought himself a blood pressure meter, monitor. Um, I bought myself some tea, because I really enjoyed that tea in the week. This is caramel, and I think this is going to be caffeine-free, which is good. And very pumped. They had a little um, selection of this grain free granola and it's got add like low carb and this is the lowest one and it's 5.9 per portion which is not too bad um i've been trying to get into the granola lately and i had some this morning actually from um the roller granola box from crave in the crave kit i'm still quite full so it's quite good um i also got some started to get little bits for my stepson his christmasy box it's just as and when i see things he hugs his coy he's, no he's, he's 13 but i think he still likes these and some of them and I'll just get bits and pieces as we go around, like clothes and stuff. Went to the pet store, and because Doodle is not happy about his biscuits, and just grabbed some different things for him to try, um, which I don't mind because I spoiled them, and I don't mind. And I got these actually came from Amazon today for when I make like little gravies and stuff, just to help blend. And I went to Boots and got these. So that is my little haul from Sainsbury's the pet store and Boots. So I'm going to make a start on my cauliflower cheesy bake. Um, Paul's just playing with my stepson on Xbox. So um, I've got a bag of cauliflower, which I'm just going to boil up in my big pan. I've got my big pan out. It's serious when the big pan comes out. I'm going to fry up in a, another pan my bacon. Probably not all of this. This is quite a lot. Um, a leek. Um, get that fried up. I'm also thinking, put it, just throwing a chilli in there. So it's a, a chilli cheese bake. And then I've got all these random bits of cheese that need to be eaten. Um, this has gone a bit mature for my liking, it's a bit too much. There's some half a thing of cream cheese and some mozzarella up on the top. So I think I'm going to boil my cauliflower, fry my bacon and leek. And then once that's done, make the sauce, combine it up, pop it in the oven to go nice and crispy. So I will work out all the um, 
macros and stuff. I'll pop it into my fitness pal. I'm not following a recipe. I'm just, you know, winging it. There's like a billion um, recipes for this online. So I'll see if I can find one that might be good for you. But I'm just literally going to make a sauce with cream, water, cream cheese, cheese, and that's it. And salt and pepper. So nothing really magical there. But it's very filling and homely and very tasty. So it's going to be a good one. Because of the amount of bacon and um, the leeks in here, it's kind of slowly poaching itself rather than frying so much, even though there's oil in here, but that's okay. You could also, if you didn't want to use bacon, you could use um, obviously none, a sort of or something like poached salmon, uh, just sort of uh, flaked up, just ge or gently turned in towards the end rather than fried up with the leeks. If you haven't got to use leeks at all, you could use maybe artichokes if you okay with onions you could use onions or even celery is really nice i've done that before as well so there's definitely lots of options you can do uh, you know to make it your own and how you like it yeah, i'm making a start on the cheese sauce I've just got my cream in there i'm gonna add some more water my cream cheese and i'm gonna put in that mature cheddar as well for flavor so um, no salt because it's the cheese content the cheese has a lot of salt sorry um, i've mixed up i've let that cauliflower really drain really well so don't want this to be damp and, and unpleasant um and i think really satisfying as well so a good good one for the freezer as well good one to stock up on because it does um defrost and cook reheat really really well as well so let's get this cheese sauce done and put in the oven and that's all in the pan i, I could i could do a bit more cheese on top shall i shall i yes i shall put some more cheese on top <laughs> there we go fixed it plenty more cheese on top this is actually a mature cheddar though so but that'll help um, so I'm going to slam this in the oven until it goes off golden because the only thing in there is cooked it's just a case of melting that cheese and getting it all nice and crispy looking so I'm going to throw it in I'm probably looking at about somewhere between 20 minutes and 40 minutes somewhere in that ballpark but I'll keep an eye on it um, keep it on a medium to high oven and yeah that's it now chicken curry so this is based off of a recipe from the keto diet app which I love a lot um, and that's based on the chicken no fish curry in a hurry recipe i have made it with fish it was really nice but it's expensive so i'm using chicken this time i'm also making a few tweaks i will link the recipe though below it is really nice um and it is the basis of this it's a really good uh basic curry um if you are well, you don't want it i'm a curry lover so i have to resist for making curry every week uh truly <laughs> if you guys weren't watching i probably would um so the basis of the sauce um, is going to be coconut milk and I see, I see these all the time and I grab them when I can and uh, it's going to be two of these um, this makes four portions I've got four chicken breasts to go with it so it's going to be a good size you would have your curry powder of your choice and you know any one you like the taste of I just got a medium there and some stock I've got I'm using a stock cube um, and garlic ginger um, and chilies so that is your basis of your curry um, and I'm sure you can probably guess how you do it you would um, fry your chicken and your veggies that recommends an onion I'm actually going to go for this blend instead it does contain onion but I just wanted to pad it out with some more veggies I'm also going to um, put through my mandolin some radishes just to give it some texture and some colour as well uh, and then some grated ginger um, and also you need two tomatoes I apologise I should have mentioned earlier this is why I went out this morning these are from my garden and they're looking very sad very sad the weather's turned grim um days are not going to get any better what i've got out there it looks it's not good it's not been a good summer for us it's been a bit hit and miss so you also need two tomatoes as well i guess you could use tomato paste or passata whatever you want but i thought i'd grab two of these um as well it works out about six carbs a portion ish based on their recipe obviously i'm making tweaks so um i will tweak mine um and up to, I'll, I'll whenever i make anything even if i make the same thing i'll always re-add it in because i do put tweaks in and i want to make sure it's fairly accurate i'm also going to put a little bit of cabbage in there as well um because this needs to be used and i want to use it so i'll be using a bit of that there's actually cabbage in this blend as well but i'll add a little bit more just to give it a bit of bulk and these are going to be one pot meals so you could serve it with cauliflower rice or what have you or your favorite whatever you fancy um courgette but i'm just gonna probably do this as a one pot meal just uh, warming in the microwave and just enjoying as it is so i'm gonna get um chopping my chicken frying it up in a little um avocado oil and just getting everything ready and just adding in the ginger the chili and the garlic i use quite a lot of ginger in this one i sort of term as my aromatics um, into the pan there be quite careful if you're doing this with chilies because the oil will heat up and it can make you cough and can be a bit overwhelming so just be careful if you're using like chilies with this 
Ain't it, Mabel? Yes, Mabel. Um, yeah, just stirring it up there, heating all the oils up and everything and warming the garlic up. You don't want to burn the garlic, though. And then I just throw in those radishes and a little bit, only a little bit of cabbage as well, just to sort of bulking it up. And then the tomatoes, which I didn't spill, which was very good for me. Um, and that's just to, to bring the sweetness in. And then in the jug, I just put in the stock with the curry powder and I just splashed in the coconut milk. Just found it easy to mix it into a jug. Um very very simply uh, thank you mabel um and before before putting it in the into the uh the pan um and and that was simple as it was really that is the the, the curry sauce um it's quite easy to make you know at any time really and then just to finish it off i've put in there some uh, chopped up coriander or cilantro and then a splash of cream as well just to make it really nice and rich so it's purely optional you haven't got to do it but i quite like creamy sort of curries um so i just pop some in there at the end and the cauliflower bacon bake is done i've had a change of heart about this i actually think it's going to be a bit rich to have um six portions so i'm actually going to make it eight and have it as a side dish i think something like pork chops would be really nice to have this as a side dish because it is so rich and all that and all that cheese and all those things i think it'd be really nice in the week or maybe some grilled chicken uh, but I think just keeping it as a side dish is probably a good choice with this one because it is just so creamy and so cheesy. And I am done. Really happy with the prep today. I've got four curries there. As you saw, I put in some cream as well and some chopped uh, coriander. Um, this is, for me, probably a complete meal. That's plenty for me to have. There is nine carbs in there because I use things like, there is things like carrots in there, which are not keto. Um, but I just wanted, I just fancied them. Um, and then I've also got the dishes which I turned into a side dish rather than a main so I've got uh, eight sides I've put two in a box just to save space in the fridge and the freezer to be honest with you I can remember that I always write on my lids as well because you never remember what you've got in the freezer you never do so always write on your lids um but you could have this with clear rice if you wanted to but I don't think I'm gonna because I think that's going to be substantial enough for me and I think that'd be really nice with some pork chops some gammon some grilled chicken a bit of salmon that'd be really really nice as well as a side that's got nine carbs and that's got seven carbs per side dish. Um, and I've now got a freezer full of food of, and stuff for the week as well. I've got a real busy week planned. So I'm really looking forward to the fact that I'm going to be doing a great deal of cooking this week. Um, so you can probably pop a few of these in the freezer as well for the week after. Well, thank you very much for joining me. I really do appreciate you stopping by. Let me know what you think below. What are you cooking this week? How are you doing? And um, yeah, have a lovely week, my friends. And I'll see you guys in the next one.